are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We return to Puerto Aventuras in Mexico mid-July to join our South African friends who live in Georgia. They bring along with them more South African friends and close friends Jack and Buffy. Jack, who has a dream to live on a catamaran one day, and Buffy, who wants to know more about this life. First things first, we need to get this crew out on journey. It was not the best of days as the seas were rolling, but we enjoyed a few hours out, and Captain Jack got to take the wheel. Finally, before coming back into the marina, we got a bite on the hook. Grineau got the honors of getting the fish on board. Success, we have a nice size Mahi Mahi on board. Jack and Grano need a selfie with this catch. We all make plans to meet at Latitudes for happy hour, dinner, and dancing. We begin with margaritas and our fresh Mahi Mahi for an appetizer. Next, the boys share their big surprise of being trophy husbands for the evening. Everyone, including our table, enjoyed their surprise, and they got all the attention they could want for the evening. A great dinner and a great time. ladies at the table next to us had to have a picture with the trophy husbands. Sadly, their week came to a close just way too fast, and then they were gone. Dee and I were super excited that our cushions were finally done for the cockpit area. They look great, and we love them. We're so glad to no longer be sitting on this, and we finally are sitting on some nice, super thick cushions. Bill and Angie arrived for several weeks, and we took this opportunity to cross the highway into the Poblado to eat at La Papala de Marlon. The food was fabulous. Dee got the tacos de Cameroon Estil Baja, fried shrimp tacos, and I had the Tostado de Cameroon, or shrimp tostados. So yummy. We continue to enjoy all our times here in Puerto Aventuras and have really become regulars at Demelo, a local bar that serves great food at a great price. Nachos are one of our favorite, but we have enjoyed the wings, which we'd like to see a little bit meatier, and some of their daily specials. 
We were also able to catch up with Rudy and Sherry while they were here at a resort near Puerto Morales. We met up at Unico Beach Club for the afternoon. We had a great time catching up and enjoying this new spot. One of our regular weekly trips now happens on Sunday afternoon when we head out to the hole. Robin and Landon usually join us with some others on their boat and we make an afternoon of it. We enjoy the people watching, meeting others, good libations, and lots of laughs with good friends. Sunsets continue to be spectacular, even though we're on the east coast of Mexico and it's hard to get some great shots. But watching the sun paint the sky as it descends is still one of our favorite times of the day. And I can't forget Rufino and El Pancracio. We still love their fresh tacos and Rufino's freshly squeezed margaritas. We even had a Mexican shot, the Mexican flag color, using grenadine, a light yellow liqueur, and tequila. The marina continues to share its great wildlife with us as the rays come by once a day along the rock wall where we are docked. The starfish returned and spent a few days off the front of our boat this time and the turtle decided not to be as shy and did a drive-by. Before heading back to North Carolina, we decided to spend another day over at El Celio. It wasn't the best of days at El Celio as the anchorage was rolling, but we were able to pick up a mooring ball. I guess the waters were foreshadowing the storms to come. Funny, they came and barely rained on us, but it seemed like they were all around us. The gap looks like it's moving to the south. <laughs> yeah. But, but the wind's supposed to be coming in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get all this. It's still going to be on the water. And the party continues. And the party continues. The best part of the day was catching dinner just as we got back close to Puerto Aventuras. This time we headed over to DeMello to let them cook our catch. It was a perfect end to our day. We continued to have water in the port side compartment and finally found it was the hot water heater leaking. When Dee went to take off the check valve to clean it, well, it broke off inside. Finally, after it was removed and several trips applied to Carmen, Dee was able to create fittings that would work because male check valves are hard to find. We found that they were hard to find in the States as well. But Mex Mexico also sells a lot of brass fittings, which we found seem to leak more than plastic. For now, though, no more leaks. We are headed home to see the birthday girl. Lilia will be one. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment.